Can a GPS system on your machine actually make you faster, more accurate, and more profitable? Let's find out. The Trimble Earthworks system has been making great waves in the construction industry. It just might be the next big thing for the hardscapes. Trimble Earthworks is a 2D and 3D machine control GPS system. This gives operators real-time guidance to dig and grade with serious precision. Fewer passes, less waste, more speed. Sounds like a win, right? We have used it a bit. We also sat with a contractor who's been using it for over a year. We asked him the question, is it really worth it? So my name is Mitch Andrea. I own and operate Elmwood Landscapes LLC. Today we are over in Plymouth. We're working on drainage, adding a sleeve under our hardscape. And Ryan is in the machine right now using the Trimble GPS Rover system, which allows us to have a standalone unit uh, to walk the edge of the patio, know where drainage lines are gonna go, future plants, so and so. But also we can put it in the machine so that as we're doing dig out and base prep, we can place materials where they need to be placed at the edge of the patio with over prep and to the elevation that we want, increasing the efficiency on the ground. So kind of one of the biggest things is, you know, how do you use it on your hardscape project and when would you kind of, when would you use it? So we actually leased ours, um, just so people know that there's an option, you can own it or you can lease it. We went with the lease because it's, it's hardscape and stuff gets beat up and it gets broken. And um, so if something gets like something gets broken, we just send it back to Trimble and they'll take care of it. Um, any updates, serv software updates, they'll take care of it. So that was kind of the reason why we went with the leasing versus owning, but We've actually been using it in a lot of like our larger projects, like poolscapes and stuff like that. Typically, the way that they want you to do it is they want you to have an engineer, and then the engineer comes out and stakes it, stakes the property, so you can kind of rotate the map and the design into it, into the software. But we've actually done it so that we've been working with them so that we can make it more user friendly for a landscaper. It's not feasible to have an engineer come out, you know, for two, three grand just to stake off a property when you can go out, set marking pins, um, burn in control points, and then put it into their, Trimble has a software that you can take your design, turn it into architectural feet and change up some things, but you can rotate your design into the um, GPS world with the mm -hmm. satellites. So I, we find it pretty handy on that, like, cause then you, with the machine guidance that we have on our larger Hitachi excavator, we can then take that and then you can set either right side of the bucket, left side of the bucket, center of the bucket with whatever attachment we have with the rotator on or the rotator off. Um, and you can s figure out your elevations and then you can pinpoint like, so say my bottom corner here is where the edge of the pool is. We can put the bucket there and say, yep, that's where the pool is going to go. And obviously the more control points you have, the more accurate it's going to be. I went out the first job we ever used it on one of my guys was staking off the pool. That thing was within, you know, a half an inch or so. Um, and then he was able to tell the elevation as well. So it was pretty handy in that, that aspect. Yeah. And obviously I'm sure there's a, a decent investment in the Trimble system alone. And like you said, you went with a leasing option and I'm sure that was a, that was probably a decent ticket as well. But did you find that investment worth the equipment? That's a tricky question because yes, I do. I think it still has a little ways to go as far as like use, usability, because obviously it, it's a new software. It's like learning a rotator or um, an estimating software. It takes some implementation time. So it takes a little bit of time to get that fully integrated into your company. And we're not fully there yet. We're getting there um, as we use it with some of these large jobs. But yes, I, I think the, the answer to your question is yes. I think in the long term, being able to use that for to send one person out. So say we're prepping a project and we're just doing excavation. One person go in there and prep basically everything by themselves. They don't necessarily need a sh somebody there with a shovel. Maybe they do. They Maybe they bring them along, but they don't need somebody pulling tape measures and off of three different corners to maybe find it or run string lines. And I'm not a big string line person or having stuff kind of in the way. You don't have to stake it out. You can just put your bucket down and yep, that's where I need to be. And this is okay, we got stairs going in here. We got to build up the grade in this area. We got to build it, cut it down. So that, that part portion's nice. So I think it's kind of likened to just a, a machine operator in general. When you, when you purchase a machine, you don't really know how to operate it. And yeah, exactly. it, you know, you get, you're trying to get used to it and work all the kinks out. So that's something that you've been, and you've had it for how many a year now, a year and a half? A little over a year now. Yeah. So, I mean, in a year's worth of time, still seeing the, the, the investment being worth it and definitely driving out some waste, not having near as many people maybe on the job sites, not having the string lines and the labor part of, of laying out a project. If you can eliminate that with a piece of equipment like this, it's 
probably pay for itself over and over. And it only pays more for itself as every job you do, right? Right. Do you see this uh, technology advancing more and more in the future as it starts to be used more and more in hardscaping or? I believe so. I, I think it's not, it's just like everything. It's like a rotator. It's, it's not going to be for everybody. Um, it's not for every small little job. Like we were talking about earlier, like it's not for every little walkway, but, and people don't necessarily need it to get jobs done. I think it's just going to be one of those things that larger, as you grow, you're going to want to create that efficiency just in the world of, you know, client comfort, more or less, when we design these projects and this, all these different things, this drainage, this different patterns, this different features that are going on and some of that stuff not getting lost in translation or through the contract, just having that into the software. And then you can show the client be like, yep, this is going to go here. This is what we talked about on this. And then executing to that standard precision is going to be key. Mm -hmm. And then I, I think it's going to be Personally, I think over time, it might be something that, you know, where, especially on commercial projects where they say like, hey, you know, you, you can't even bid on this unless you have GPS. I think clients are going to get smart and they're going to say, hey, do you have GPS? And like, how, how can I, how are you so sure that you're going to be accurate on this project and put everything in place? And like, you know, your tolerance is going to be nice and tight. I think that'll come within maybe five years or 10 years, but I think it's coming down the line at some point. Well, I think even in the construction, the large construction commercial industry, you're definitely seeing that. The guys that do not have this technology can't even compete right. because right. even their bids are a lot lower due to the fact that they're being that much more efficient. They're not yeah. using more materials than they have to. They're you know, not using the labor that they you know had before. They're not paying so many in individuals or using the equipment in that sense. I think that's going to be similar in the hardscape industry, right? We're probably going to see that. Whereas more and more people get in, and invest in equipment like this, how is someone ever going to compete up against your price if you know you can do it in half the time, half the labor? Right. When I do the client meeting or the, um, you know, we're, we're going over the design, I can just say to them, you know, I, here's my software. Here's how I came up with all these numbers. Like, I know that this is accurate and I know what needs to happen on this job so that I don't come back to you at the end of the project and go, oh, you know, we had to add all this extra stone or we had to do this. It was more that, you know, there's not really many change orders to make the client feel a little more comfortable. And then when yeah. they say, see that big price tag, they can say, oh yeah, like I know they're not just making stuff up and they're not just going by the square foot. Like this was all, all calculated. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Anything else that stands out to you on Trimble? Uh, for me, one of the big things is just kind of, I've known a bunch of people, like obviously the Dirt Ninja, uh, Tom Gardaki and Jeremy Swihart, J Squared Outdoor and those guys, they use it a lot. So being able to talk to them and kind of transfer back and forth information and like kind of spitball stuff. But just having them and the customer support from Trimble, I've had very good luck with them. The people that have been helping me set up designs and go over that stuff, they've been super, super helpful. Um, so could be more happy with that. But yeah, that was a big selling point for me is just having that kind of customer support. That's kind of why we're doing this video is to help contractors understand what Trimble can do for them or whether it's even a good fit for them at this point in their in their company. You know, I think that we obviously need to advance the hardscape industry. And I think things like this are what does that. Right. At least a step in the right direction. Thanks for watching. I will admit we're not the experts in this field, but if it's something you feel could be beneficial to you, I encourage you to do your research. If you like this video, you can also click here to watch last week's tip of the week. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we sincerely appreciate you watching. You can sign up for our tip of the week here, or you can watch more of our videos here. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel here, and make sure you shop our products at pavetool.com. If you're located in Canada, you can shop at pavetool.ca. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to seeing you next Friday.